Hi, good day, paint pouring people. I'm in my another experimenting mode today. I'm, um, if it doesn't work out, it's all good, but I'm sure that I will have fun trying and hope that you guys get something from it. It's gonna be a sort of a, do you know what? I'll just get into it, start painting <laughs> and explain as I go along. So I've got, that was my other cells were, were swallowed up nicely. I've got mixed some paints up today. I've mixed the uh, Montmartre Dimensions paint. Um, and I've, this is the first time I've tried the Dimensions paint with the clear PVA. As you know, if you've been following my art journey, I've discovered this a few weeks ago and it's just been a real game changer for me because I've gone over to this from um, Elmer's Glue Oil, which is very hard to get in Australia. So I've been using this and I've had really good results. The paint dries so bright and vivid. Um, really happy, but I haven't tried it with the Dimensions paint yet. So this is Montmartre Dimensions, this is this, and I'm gonna have a go again with the Folk Art, the Folk Art Milk Paints. Um, these are the Folk Art Milk Paints. All of the products that I'm using today, I buy from my online supplier, Cabriol Shabashik. If you're in the US or Canada or UK, I believe they're all uh, able to get off uh, eBay or Amazon but if you're in the US and Canada I have a link um, just to a supplier I haven't dealt with them myself so I have no idea it's just trying to um, give you a link to the Montmart products so those are what I'm going to be using um, and I'll explain the colors as I go along and what I'm going to do and I had an idea to I sort of want to do a pathway, I want to go horizontal and I want to do my different milk paint effects to, just to basically show you, demonstrate to you the milk paint effects that we can get. So I'm going to cover these canvas through the centre there. I will get my little spatula, trusty little spatula. You go, can go through quite a few of these spatulas too because they using them all the time so they're a really good tool for you to all have I'm sure everybody's got one or two or six or eight so I don't I just want to make this so it's not straight lines straight lines so do curvy like me curvy it looks like I've got a few goobers in it, or whatever you call them these days. Lumpy bits, lumpy bits, again, just like me. So I'm not too worried about the very edges because I can always fix those up after. So let me turn it around, and do some curvy bits. So this was the white uh, mixed up, well it's the pearl white mixed with ordinary white. Just to, so it wasn't white white couldn't possibly just use white white no. uh, every, my pouring recipe or whatever I'm using will always be there's a, a box underneath that either says show me more or as a little arrow you press on that and that will have my pouring medium recipe right there for you guys so um, the other thing I want to do is use this was the pearl sapphire but I did add a touch of dark blue because I wanted it to go even more bluey if you get my drift I'm not sure if I'll deviate the color on the very end but just bear with me, it's just a little thing that come into my head and I thought, oh, I should try that with those different paints. They're, they're just all different than, than I've done before. Always trying to switch it up, find something new for you because 
what one person might like, another one obviously hates. <laughs> and thankfully, we're not all the same, so it's all good. All good. Okay. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Not that um, weekends are any different than any other days to us because we're, um, I would say, semi retired semi-retired yeah we still work our own business but so you you have that little bit of freedom that you can do what you want on any day if it, you choose to do so and yes we've worked hard all of our younger years to be able to get to the position that we're in now so there's no such thing as luck we got luckier the harder we worked uh, okay so this is going to be a test so it might end up going pear shape. So this is the black, uh, sorry, the black folk art um, milk paint, and I mixed a little bit of Floetrol in it. So I'm pouring this into, or well, pouring a little bit of it into this dish, 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 and I'm getting. Oh, I hope it turns out. I've done this once before. I think you guys seen it. I did it on a box which is somewhere here. Uh, I was supposed to give the box away for Christmas and didn't end up finishing it. So I did I did this it's just a hairbrush hairbrush, two dollars from the you know, usually men's hair, short hair, but this is what I did on my box and I was going to resin that box. But I've got so much going on and had so much people that I didn't get round to it. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the brush in the milk paint. So, and hopefully, oh, wait, wow, okay, just blob it out. Oh my goodness, holy dooly, that is cool as, cool as a cucumber. My God, look at that. Oh, oh, I love art. I love it. Look at that. That's so effective in that. Wow, we. True abstract, hey? True abstract. <laughs> Definitely. Wow, I think it had gone through a printer or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just go over the blue a little bit because I wanted to try the white in the blue. But it's looking... Oh my goodness, that's really cool. So yeah, that little brush, it has got no oil, it's got no silicone in these paints. Um, and now I wanted to just try, this is the white, and I just wanted to, I suppose I could do it, I suppose I could do it, yeah, I could try with another one, the white paint, maybe, have I got another little bowl? I was going to just, I'll just, I'll just show you what I was going to do, I was going to just do the droplets in this particular one, like, the droplets like this, the way you very time consuming it's like you just create your own little is it called an amoeba if people it's like you know it's basically false cells but it's very therapeutic for somebody to do because you could actually be nice to actually have a chair and do it slowly um, but the milk paint just interacts with acrylic in a different way, causing these really cool effects that you see here. This is very, very time consuming, so. And you, I mean, people have said when I did the last one, I'll use a syringe, a pipette, but ultimately I have tried different things I just find this the most satisfying to do um, 
do it this way just with this uh, lolly stick lolly stick ice block stick or whatever wherever you are whatever you call it I think in England we used to call them ice lols ice lol can you have an ice lol in Australia we call them ice blocks uh, I'm not sure what you call them in the US Sure, somebody will. Anyway, the idea was I'm going to go right through that, but looking at how this black has turned out, so it would take me quite a long time to. I was going to do another colour on the very ends here. So, yeah, maybe a pipette. Um, I'm not sure. It, it probably wouldn't. It, you would probably have quite a hard time. Um, controlling the p pipette. Pipette. It's a funny name, isn't it? Pipette. Sometimes you've got to think, who on earth called that that? It's like a name that's always got me if, if from a child that I think is a really weird name to say and wool. 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 I just think that's a crazy name. Wool. Saying it when I hear people say it, I always have to smile to myself. So you can kind of get the gist, can't you? And I think I'm going to, for the sake of this video, well, I'll best put a colour on the very outside. Where should I go? Should I go? Oh, I might go the dark oh that is the pearl sapphire and that was the turquoise sorry I think I told you vice versa that's my spatula I'm all over the place like a hairy goat because it's obviously something that you've got to work quite ooh, quite quickly and I should have put this on before I started doing my little embellishment and I probably could have tilted the whole lot and, and thought about it but as I said, this is an experiment and I haven't done this particular, I've done the milk paint um, printing before, um, but I haven't done what I'm doing right here at this minute in time. So just a, a little something to try, but those look like they're in ice. <laughs> Looks so cool. Probably if I'd done the paint underneath a little bit thinner, it would have worked a little bit better. So I'm just gonna see what my black over those look like. Ooh, let's go over this corner. Cool, cool, cool bananas, cool bananas. Go over there a little bit. Well, I can see what I could in definitely improve. I should have, I should have kind of tilted my paint around because look, I've got that line which I, which uh, if I tilt now, that will spoil all these cool shapes. So I may have to wait till it's dry and I can embellish in there with some silver or something on afterwards. But I am gonna continue to fill those in oh my god that looks so cool <laughs> guys have a go at this this is so much fun um really cool result so if you could imagine a, a real nice big long canvas like an 120 or 150 by 60 or something that's long and skinny maybe that you could just work along it with this really cool effect really good just let me, while you're with me, I'll just do a little black drop, whereas I've done the white drop. I'm gonna fill that up with those white droplets. I just wanna see what the black droplets look like. So you just fill in your um, abstract art. What do you call it when you have, um, my friend Julie, 
you know, she's painted with me when she was here on holiday from England. I say things and they say, oh, I can't remember. And you can bet that Jilly will come straight back and say, whatever it was, like yesterday, I couldn't think of gloss and mat. I couldn't think of the word mat. She said, you plank, because that's a word in England that they call you if you're silly. You plank, it was mat. So, of course, only your friends can tell you things like that and you have a laugh about it. It's all good. So, Jilly normally says, I know what you meant. It, it was so-and-so, so-and-so. Oh, this is such a cool effect. I'm absolutely sure somebody's done it before, so I'm not claiming all this is mine and I only want people to do it if they use my name. Just go for it, guys. I'm giving it to you. Wow, we. I love it. I love it. And if I was sitting doing it nice and slowly and not doing it as a um, tutorial for, for you guys, an experiment for me, I would just sit and just do it really methodically because it's very, very um, therapeutic. So maybe they should do this kind of thing in, um, uh, I'm, I'm sure in elderly retirement residents maybe. Because it is really satisfying, oddly, oddly satisfying and um, totally effective. But I'm sure you're gonna let me know what you think, as you do, but it's all good. Because you know what? The artist is enjoying doing it, so you know what? That's all that matters. Doesn't matter if you enjoy it or you don't enjoy it, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so that's it. And remember, the only rule is, there's no rules. Whatever your heart desire, you just go on your merry little way. Don't listen to the naysayers. And just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I think I'm going to go round the end when it's all finished, the very edges. I'll go round in either black or white. I'll see what see the bits that you think you've missed you just embellish with these little for whatever reason i'm sure somebody will know the science why the milk paint acts differently when you drop put the droplets on um acrylic oh maybe i should do those with try and make them look the same but that's pretty difficult and i'm not looking for perfect so but yeah I should have filled that little hole up there but it's all good um, maybe I'll just get another little pokey thing just add some white bits in there so much fun such a really cool effect I need to spend a little bit time and do it a little bit more methodically I'm trying to rush it because I don't want to keep you guys too long. Stuffed up a bit there, but that, that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Nothing's perfect. Oh, you want to see it? So cool. Oh my goodness. Even at my age, yes, I get excited about my art and things that are happening in it when you're just doing an experiment. Fantastic. Fantastic plastic. I love it. Love it. Love it. That look really good on a really nice big canvas. Do a real true abstract. Like your eyes go to different parts in it. Okay, guys, thanks so much for um, ooh, sorry, uh, subscribing to my channel. Uh, thanks for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you'd like to watch me. And if you'd like to uh, get notification, press the notification button. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Yet yeah, all the information is underneath this video of the bits and bobs I've used, our online suppliers and in the US and Canada. Thank you.